let's look at event delegation in jQuery. So right here, I've got the same code as my template code. So I've got the template here to generate a list. And I want to make it so that each of these list items here have a button that does something. So first, I'll adjust my template here to have a button. Uh, let's give it a class of btn. And let's say, click me. So I've put this into my template and now I can refresh and all of them have a button. So I want to be able to add a click event to the button. But the problem is that the button doesn't exist until after the uh, until after the templates have been rendered. So I can't target just button right away and grab a variable for it and uh, add a click event to it. I want to I need to wait until after the template has been rendered. So jQuery provides us something called event delegation. So right now the dinos, dinos list already exists in my HTML right here. It just doesn't have anything inside it. So I can add an event onto that, but I can add an optional argument here of the thing that I actually want to click on, which would be BTN. So the event is going to be on Dinos, and it will allow me to click on e any BTN inside of Dinos, whether or not it exists. So I'll just add my function here like this, and I can do a console.log and clicked. So now I've got this event that is tied to the list but allows me to only click on the BTNs inside that list. So I've got all of the LIs here and I've got my event. And you can see that I can't click anywhere on the LIs or the OL, but if I click directly on the button, then it allows me to trigger this event. So now I can do things to each of these. So because I have only selected the button as the thing that was clicked on, I can then do stuff to it. So let's do a console.log here of dollar sign this. So dollar sign this is a special selector in jQuery which will select the thing inside the event that was actually interacted with. So I'll refresh here and if I click on click me you can see it's selecting the button. So maybe I want to do something to its parent element. So that would be the li. So I could go dot parent, which is the li, and let's say I want to add a class called js uh, clicked. So we'll do js clicked, and let's just put a background color on it of yellow. All right. So now when we click on here, it adds the yellow background color to the thing that we've clicked on. So let's change that one more to one more way here to toggle class like that. And now you can see when we click on it, we can toggle the classes on and off um, using event delegation. So event delegation allows us to add events to things that may not exist yet. So when our JavaScript first runs, the li is completely empty. There's no BTNs in here. So we would be we can't add any events to the buttons because they don't exist yet. But what we can do is add an event to the parent element and delegate to a button that may come in the future. And that's what we've done here. So we can now select elements or add click events to things that may happen to be there in the future.